Hi, I'm Marcus from Marcus Language Academy and today we will talk more about German grammar and actually about German structure. Uh, this is also part of my German course for beginners where you learn German following a story and I use colors and images to show you grammar. So let's see today what is the position actually of accusative and dative in a sentence. Okay. So quite tricky because many students ask me about this and so I made this video to explain it to you right now. Okay, let's see an example, no? Example sentence. Here we have ich gebe dem Kind den Ball. I give the kid the ball. So let's add some colors to see what's going on here. So we have ich, it's nominative, it's green, no? so it's the subject of the sentence. Ich gebe, the ending, depends on the subject, therefore it's also green. And then we have dem Kind, den Ball. Dem Kind, it's actually dative because uh, it's the indirect object, because I call it every time like this, that uh, the kid has the benefit of the action, so it's dative. And den Ball is accusative, it's a direct object, it's part of the action because I give the ball. So normally when we have uh, the nouns like Kind and Ball, first goes dative and then accusative. So dem Kind, den Ball. It has to be like this. It has to be like this. But what happens if we, um, let's say, change the noun into uh, a pronoun, okay? So, for example, uh, when, we, uh, when we add, you see important, no? uh, the position stays on position two, but how, how does it change? It changes this way. Ich gebe ihn dem Kind. So, den Ball, the uh, direct object, changes for a pronoun into the direct pronoun ihn, and it goes in front of the indirect object, dem Kind. No? Because pronouns, they want to stick more to the verb. So in this case, ich gebe ihn dem Kind. Okay, now the big question is, what happens if we also use a pronoun for Kind? Normally you would think, okay, then it goes back to the same structure. No, it will go like this. Ich gebe ihn ihm. So now when we use for both words pronouns, First, we have accusative and then dative. And that's also a rule. We cannot switch, okay? We have to say, ich gebe ihn ihm, okay? So remember, when we use two pronouns, first accusative, when we have the words, first uh, the dative. And when we have a pronoun, the pronoun always go first. So how do we ask actually for our direct pronoun or for our direct object? No? In this moment, for accusative, we, use, we ask wen oder was. And in our example, we could ask, was gebe ich ihm, also dem Kind. No? That would be a question. And because my, my answer is quite important, I also could put uh, the answer, no? den Ball or ihn, in first position. Ihn gebe ich ihm oder dem Kind. Okay? Remember, the verb stays in the second position. That's a really, really important rule for the main sentence. And how do I ask for the dative? Wem. Because normally, uh, wem, it's always for a person. Because dative, almost 100% is a person. So we would ask, wem gebe ich ihn? Now in accusative, we would ask for the person with wen. But in dative, wem with an M. Wem gebe ich den Ball? The answer could be also dem Kind gebe ich den Ball or ihm gebe ich ihn. So we can put it always in first place when we think it's more important, okay, information. So this is a little bit the positioning of uh, accusative and dative when we have a sentence. No, uh, Those are rules, No, so you have to apply it. Obviously, if you uh, make mistakes in the positioning, most people would understand, but it wouldn't be correct. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You understood a little bit more about the, um, the structure of German sentences. Thank you very much. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye bye.